Hi, it's Owen here from PCL. Today we're going to talk about an open and closed end connector and particularly what the difference is between the two. We'll start with the open end connector. It is exactly as it says, it is an open end connector, so that means air will pass through the connector regardless of if it's on a tyre valve or not. So the key differences between the two types of connectors, typically on our hold-on and twin clip-on versions, the open end connector is distinguished by a black rubber handle, whereas the closed end has the red rubber handle. So with the open end, typically you would only use this where you have control of your air output. So normally a tire inflator, whether it be a handheld one or a wall mounted preset version. So what that means is once you put it onto the tire, it'll let the, it, the air through. But even if you disconnect, because you're in control of the pressure, you can control whether the air comes out or not. So on the closed end version, you would use this where you don't have control of the, the air pressure coming out from the, from the connector. You would not use a closed end version on a single hose tire inflator. So you use this directly from a compressor or directly from an airline. Main reason because there's a, a non-return pin, non-return valve pin inside, which needs to be unseated to let the air flow out. So more than likely on a tire valve, the tire valve core itself will unseat the pin and let the air flow out. You, the only situation where you use a closed end version in conjunction with a tire inflator is when you're using multiple hoses to inflate multiple tires at once. You then have to use a ball valve or a, or a control valve to dump the air from the actual inflator or the hoses itself. We'll show you a short demonstration of these two connectors in action. So we're going to show you the open end version of our twin hold on connector. So as mentioned earlier, for any single hose inflator, you must always use an open end connector and I'll show you the differences if you use the closed end. So again, on our twin hold on version, it's the black handle for the open end. We do also have single clip on versions available in an open end as well as a closed end. So when you put the connector to the tire, you'll see the display lights up on your inflator or show up on a mechanical one. And then you can inflate the display is going to be shown, deflate as well, but when you remove it, the display is going to go back to zero. So with an open end connector, I can now also press the inflate lever down and air is going to shoot out the end of the connector. Now we're going to show you closed end version. So now we've fitted a closed end connector, specifically our red handled twin hold on connector. So you place it onto the tyre. You can inflate, I'm going to show you the tire pressure, and you can deflate. When you remove it, it will go to zero. But like before, the closed end version will trap any air. So if you momentarily inflate, no air is coming out of the end, because it's a closed end style. But you're always going to get the stuck tire or well, the stuck air pressure from the beginning of the hose up to the end of the connector. You're essentially just inflating the hose. So it's always essential never to use a closed end version on a single hose inflator because it can confuse you when you're reading tire pressures and using it onto a tire. 